Hello everybody, it's Farm Tim Guy here. Hope you're all doing well. Now, today we are going to look at how you can add uh, meat production to any map that you're working on, but it does need a few mods and a little bit of work on your half. So, first things first, you're going to need somewhere to sell your meat. So we've got ourselves a Taco Bell there, and I'll come on to that in a little while. But first and foremost, you're going to need to produce that meat from your cattle. So I will show you now how we're going to do that. First and foremost, and I will put all these mods in the description for the vid as well, you're going to need somewhere to produce your meat, somewhere to drop off your animals. This version here is by a modder called The Snake, uh, and it uses global companies. So you need to have global companies installed, which unfortunately means that it is for PC only. Uh, another mod made by The Snake is this pallet factory because you're going to need empty pallets to be able to create uh, pallets of meat. You're going to need pallets and you're going to need meat. So um, we've spent a little bit of time setting up uh, what we need over here. Uh, so we've got some trucks on standby which we will go and sort our pallets first and foremost. Let's get all the constituent parts over to the pallet factory and get them sorted. So first things first, you need logs. You also need wood chips and you need water. So we'll just roll up here. We'll just remove the straps. Now if I reverse up, it should just start. There we go. So we have logs. After logs, uh, we are going to need some water. So we'll unload some water into the factory as well. And the third thing we are going to need are wood chips. So we've got the wood chip lorry reversed up here. Now before I start to unload this, I'm just going to go into the global companies menu and you'll see in your factories here, we've got the carton factory, which is cartons and pallets, and we've also got the meat factory. We'll come to the meat factory in a little while. Uh, but now if we just go into the carton factory and hit the overview menu, you will see here for carton production, uh, as well as empty pallets, it does produce cartons. Now we're only interested in empty pallets for this video, but uh, if you've got cartons, there are other factories that the snake has created, which I'll go into in future videos, but you could use cartons for milk production or something like that. Um, so um, three inputs we need. Uh, we've got our water on our logs, as you can see, they're 44 and 45% full. So we're going to add some wood chips in here as well. And we have got auto start switched on here. So as soon as I start adding wood chips into this, it's, it should start producing things. So uh, let's tip this up and see what happens. And as if by magic, smoke starts coming out of the factory and things are operational. So now the factory is uh, active and you can see already producing 1% cartons and 1% empty pallets. You need to wait a little while um, for pallets to start appearing. But once they do, uh, we can run them over to the meat factory uh, and set them up uh, ready to start producing meat. So what we'll do is um, we'll run on time a little bit and uh, we will be back shortly. Now while we're waiting for the pallet factory to uh, create some pallets, let's talk a little bit about the meat factory. So uh, the meat factory, you drop either cows or pigs off at this point here. And again, if we go back to global companies uh, and open up the overview menu here, in meat production, you will see that um, it produces three different types of output. One is meat, the second one is beef tripe, and the third one is pork chop. Now, to be able to sell these, you can either use a sell point that's been created by the snake, or you can do what I did, which was um, take this Taco Bell mod that was created by PV Mods, and again, I'll put the link in the description below. And you basically need to do a little bit of uh, XML editing here, and you basically want to add additional fill types in here. And what you'll do is add in meat, beef tripe, and pork chop to what is sellable within the Taco Bell here. And then you can uh, you can sell whatever you create in the meat factory and you can sell it to Taco Bell. Now there are a lot of different sell points you can use. Um, I'll put the link to PV Mods, uh, link to a lot of different um, food sell points. Uh, and again, you can make your decision on how you want to sell it or where you want to sell it. Uh, but I'll show you how to do that. Then all you need to do is tweak the XML 
uh, to make sure that it accepts these types of uh, meat. Okay, so we've skipped forward quite a little bit of time now, and as you can see, as well as pallets, um, there's your cartons, uh, which uh, aren't useful for us today. There's our pallets, so you can see there are two stacks of pallets, and it tells you how much you've produced uh, so far. And over here as well, they do paper. Now again, I said the snake has done lots of different uh, types of elements that you can use, so one of them uh, will require paper. But again, for today, we don't need that. We're only interested in these pallets. So what we're going to do, and we're going to jump into this little forklift here, and we'll run these pallets over to Hudson Meats, and we will um, get them loaded up. So just before I drop these off, you can see there is a, a readout here, which tells you about empty pallets, and drop them off. And as you can see there, that rolled up, and the pallets are now sitting over next to um, the drop-off point. So we'll try and get a slightly better angle this time, so you can see both the counter, me dropping them off, and the new stack appearing. But you basically drive over this pallet image on the floor, drop them down, and there you go, they've unloaded themselves already. So those pallets there now will be classed as an input. Uh, again, if we go back to our global companies menu and click on the meat factory and open overview menu, you can see there we have our empty pallets ready. So all we need to add now are some animals. So let's go and get them. So we've got a makeshift uh, cow pen here that we've just uh, added uh, for the ease for this video but what we'll do is we'll shift some of these cows over into the trailer until it's full there we go confirm and we'll run these back to the meat cell point so we'll just nip around the road here we're on mercer county by the way uh, if anybody's wondering what map it is the mrg classic that is mercer county so obviously I've put everything close to each other here. You can set this up however you like for your uh, for your farm and your setup. Um, but what we'll do, we'll get this lined up and we'll get the uh, cows dropped off. So as long as you've got the rear of the trailer uh, in the drop-off point, you just hit R and it asks you how many animals you want to unload into the factory. Let's put all 12 in. Start. So that's your animals in, that's your pallets in. Um, as you can see, the smoke has started rising from the factory again. Let's get out of our truck, because if you walk over to here, it will show you your inputs and your outputs. Again, that's just a really a summary of what you can see if you go into your overview menu as well. So it's quite a handy little at a glance look. Now, um, we've obviously put our cares in, we've put our pallets in. Um, it does take a bit of time. It's not super, super quick. There we go. We've just jumped to 1% there. Um, it does take a little bit of time. Um, but I, I quite like that. I like the authenticity of that. Now, if you remember, there we go. There's our meat. First case of meat. First case of tripe. And our first case of chops over here as well. Now, if you remember uh, correctly, from our Texas map tour, um, the abattoir only created the red the red pallets, not the pallets, the cases. Um, so you had to carry them by hand. Uh, what I like about this meat factory is it puts them on a pallet for you so you can use a forklift truck and you can get them uh, loaded up and sold in bulk. So um, again, we'll flip forward time a little bit, get through these uh, and get a decent stash of stuff ready. Uh, and then we can go and sell it, which is the final part of the process, I guess. So there we go, we've jumped time forward virtually a full day there. And as you can see, it has created two pallets of each. And if we just jump back to our outputs here, you can see that we've produced 70% and uh, our cows and our pallets have dropped to 14% and 27%. So it it doesn't need much to produce quite a lot of uh, uh, end product. Um, but it's, it's, it's taken the most of the day to get that much. But what we'll do now, we will grab another trailer and we will load these up and uh, get them to the sell point.
Round and round the world we'll go, putting on the greatest show. So make sure that you don't miss out. Just be there. Oh, just be there. We're taking our shot. Bring what you got. We're going on. So there we go, as you can see it starts to create the third palette, but we've got um, two of each on here. Now there's a reason I'm using this uh, this fifth hitch trailer rather than a, a large uh, Lorien trailer. And that's because if you remember from, if you saw it at least, um, the Flint Hills live stream last night, we were doing some testing of this live. And um, one of the things that I noticed was that uh, it wasn't unloading at the sell point. And I think it's because it's too high off the ground. So what we're trying is that we're trying this uh, lower level trailer to see if we can sell things straight away. But basically, um, there's my slightly slightly questionable loading. But it's always good to have a practice, isn't it? We'll run these straight to the Taco Bell now. And we will see if they will sell. And we'll also give you an idea of how much, uh, how much money you can make. So for a couple of, of pallets of each, we can see how lucrative um, it can be. Now, for me, I think, you know, meat and selling uh, meat products is such an integral part of farming that this is this is a really fun addition to the game. Uh, I understand the, probably the reasons it's not in the base, base game and, and, and why it may cause some issues for some people. But um, you know what? It's a, it's a fact of life. Farmers make meat products. Some do anyway. So... Um, it's, it's a lovely addition, uh, not too far removed from the original game, I don't think. Now if we drive over here, and as you can see, there they go. They drop down. I'm not sure why they've all not sold yet. We had this issue last night, there might be a maximum amount that uh, the Taco Bell can take in one go. But you saw for two crates there, that was £10,000, so it is, it is relatively lucrative. Um, we're just going to do a little test here and work out what's what. But certainly that worked a little bit better than yesterday. But we've still got this slight issue. It might it might need something to unload them at the sell point, because as you can see, they sell by hand here. Um, I'm sure there's a modder out there who's way smarter than I am that could work out how to adjust that um, so you don't have to do this manually. But there we go. Um, quite a lot of money there. About thirty to forty thousand pounds in total. Um, so there we go. Meat production on your farm. Uh, just to reiterate again, it does need global companies. It is PC only. Um, the pallet production factory requires logs, wood chips, and water. The other thing is no sheep at the moment. Uh, at this again. Maybe some modders out there can uh, adapt these to make them work for sheep as well. Um, but at the moment, it's just pigs and cows. Uh, it produces produce from pigs and cows. So, there you go. You can have meat production on any map you like, rather than it being built in like uh, West Texas. So I'll put these mods, uh, links to these mods in the description for the video. And... Um, like I said, the XML that you need to tweak for Taco Bell, you don't necessarily have to do that. Um, you could have a look at one of the other uh, mods by the snake that already buy the produce he creates. But if you want to make it uh, a little bit more unique, uh, feel free to edit that XML as I showed you earlier on in the video. But for me, for now, I hope you found that interesting. I hope that uh, adds another dimension to your gameplay. And uh, I'll say bye for now. Thanks for watching, as always, and I will see you again very soon. Bye for now.